we have an opportunity to explore one of the greatest projects of our time. Considered by many to be the Bible of personal development, Think and Grow Rich. Now, fast forward a hundred years, where in 2008, the Napoleon Hill Foundation would attempt to recreate history. Don Green, chief executive officer of the Napoleon Hill Foundation, decided it's time to share some modern examples that illustrate these important and time-tested messages. In studio, we are pleased to have the man who made this three feet from gold project possible, Don Green. Why did you decide to do this project? Well, I think the timing was perfect. It was very comparable to the time that uh, Hill wrote his book. The country was having financial problems, and I think the message is applies today just like it did back when uh, Hill wrote the original material. Have you ever faced challenging times? Wanted to give up, walk away from something very special? Then you're in good company. Years ago, Greg Reed was in the same situation. Now he's writing a book that is going to inspire millions to stay on course. Greg, I want to welcome you to the show. It's good hey, having you here. Thanks for having me. There was a man named Darby, and he sets out west, has gold fever like everyone did back in the days. And sure enough, he found a little hole and he started digging in and found some gold. Got all excited, he covered it up and went back home. He told all of his family and friends that they should chip in to invest so he could buy equipment to pull it out by the truckload. The first cart comes out of the ground, sure enough, it's one of the richest strikes they've ever seen. Woohoo! They're going to be rich. But they kept digging and they ran out of gold. They kept digging, and there was no more gold. They did this day after day, week after week, till finally he was defeated and gave up. He walked out of that mine and says, I'm through. He sees a junk man walking by and says, hey, buddy, give me 200 bucks. I'll sell you the mine and all the equipment. I'm out of here. And the junk man, being smarter than the average bear, says, well, I'll take it because the equipment is worth more than that just in itself. Now, what he did was something very intelligent. You see, he sought outside advice and counsel from people that have information greater than his own. And he sought an engineer and says, what happened? He said they had gold and they ran out. And the engineer said, it's simple. Gold runs in a vein like a finger. What they did is they popped into it and came out the other end. He says, if you go back where they hit their treasure, go three feet in the opposite direction, you'll tap back into it also. And that's what he did and pulled out one of the largest gold strikes in the history of the world. Many people don't know this, but Napoleon Hill had the toughest time getting someone to publish his book. Rumor has it that you've had a few challenges of your own with this project. This entire project has been a study of three feet from gold. Is this when you brought Sharon Lecter into it? Well, actually, that's when Don suggested I give Sharon a call. And I got to tell you, that's when it all changed. That's when Venus, Pluto, and Mars all aligned for us. I could sit and, you know, spout her praises all day long, but I think it would probably be best to bring her over here ourselves. Hey, Sharon, come over here. Why don't you sit down and talk to Bob a little bit about this project. Bob, there you go. Sharon. We're going to pass the baton here. Tell me a couple of the people that you've interviewed that, that was really impressive and would help the person watching us right now. John St. Augustine we interviewed and he talked about the law of attraction and positive mental attitude but also he said his, his little nugget was people need to change their wishbone into backbone and That's I good. love that because a lot of people just sit and wait for good things to happen. I'm gonna sit here and have good thoughts and good things are gonna happen. He says you gotta turn it into backbone. How do you see this relative to your other successes? Well, the success is in the information. And if it's the right information, the right message, at the right time, it will be a success in its own right. And if you think about Think and Grow Rich, it was published during the Great Depression. It helped millions of people with giving them the message of hope and vitality during a time when there was so much distress and so much financial collapse. And if we look today, we have that same issue not just in America, but all over the globe. And so our goal and our hope for this project is that it will be able to provide hope, sustenance, and just one opportunity. You know, allow people to start saying, if I do this, my life will be better. Well, Sharon, it's a, a real pleasure for me to be working on this project with you and Greg and Don. You are such an excellent example of this, and I think you've contributed so much to this. 
I want you to stop and think. Don't even look sideways. Don't ask anyone what they think you should do. Do what you know you should do. Get a hold of us and let us give you this information. Get three feet from gold and study it. One of the greatest things you'll learn is what everybody says is terrible economy. The other side is it's a great opportunity. And that's what you're going to find here. I encourage you to do that. And then get as many of your friends on to do it as you can so that you've got something meaningful to discuss. Get rid of the small talk. Get into the big talk. I'm Bob Proctor. Thank you. Greg Reed and Sharon Lecter teamed up with the Napoleon Hill Foundation to carry on the tradition of Napoleon Hill. They invited a new group of leaders to be interviewed. These movers and shakers shared their principles, values, and attitudes that they continue to use to drill toward their goals. More importantly, their insights will inspire you to work through adversities and setbacks to make sure you don't quit three feet from gold. This movie is the inside interviews with men and women who today have decided to never give up. They share their struggles and victories with you. The Napoleon Hill Foundation would like to encourage you to never give up on your dream. You never know when you may be just three feet from gold. For more information on this movie, please visit www.3feetawaydvd.com. Again, www.3feetawaydvd.com.